So Father's Day weekend, the wife booked us um, a, get a weekend getaway in St. Pete Beach, in a beautiful beach, by the way. So I'm enjoying it. Happy Father's Day to everybody. I know it's late, but you know that's what that's what it is right now. Um, Monday and Thursday schedules in full effect. So if you if you haven't heard, every Monday, every Thursday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, there will be a video drop. So you can you can check the channel Monday at 10 p.m. You can check the channel Monday at 9 a.m. and there'll be a video. Same thing on Thursdays. So I appreciate you guys. One more update, guys. I just want to let you know. I've been updating I've been updating the online academy as much as I possibly can. Full in depth, in detail with all the lines and everything drawn out are on the online academy. So if you don't think I'm putting out enough content and you want to get to the next level, 245 online academy is available. If you're complaining that your school doesn't teach you enough for the price of a haircut, you can get access to this online academy. Go check it out. Link in the description. YouTube, what's going on? Back with another video. This one is going to be a wave cut. And we'll start, we're just using a number three on top. He said he didn't really want nothing off, just just a, just something light, real light. Um, so we, we grabbed the number three, and it's cutting, it's cutting a little bit of hair, not too much. When I showed him, like, for example, right here, see all that hair that came off? Like, that. that's enough. That's enough right there for him. So, um, you know, cleaning it up. Doesn't look like a lot's being taken off, but you, this head, this head coming off. And you want to go the direction of the wave of the hair growth pattern, the direction of the hair growth pattern. So because he's waving, um, I definitely don't want to bring this taper up too high. So I'm, I'm creating the C cup first. I'm lining him up first. That way I can kind of gauge, um, you know, how high I'm really going up with the taper. So I'm starting at the connection of the ear, as you can see, the connection of the ear, and that's where I'll begin my taper. The next step is going to be the blade open, and we'll close the lever all the way and start to take out that guide, that initial guideline, opening the, the, the clipper gradually as we go up. And I opened it up like three times until we got all the way up to the next guideline. Now we'll move forward to the number one open. And typically either the blade open or the half guard will take out this next this guideline right here. Right now I have the number one closed, but the half guard or the blade open will go ahead and take out any any bit of bulk that's left. As you can see here, I'm using the half guard. While we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending out the beard. Very important for a finished look. Even if you're not gonna do line up the beard, blend it in so it doesn't ruin your haircut. So now we're using a one and a half guard. And we're trying to stay below that that there's a little bit of a wave right there i don't want to cut that wave out right there that's like the first that's like the initial the starting that's like the ripple like the you know what i mean so we don't want to cut into that we don't want to lower that any so i'm staying right below that so same thing in the back in the neck taper we're going to go ahead and line line it up so we don't go up too high we'll be able to gauge it and you can see his the first wave that's that's starting to to come out is right below the occipital bone so we're going to stay right below that wave pattern and guys no matter what texture of hair it is i go about my haircuts the same for me hair is hair they might have different curl patterns might have um different density but hair is hair and if you go into every haircut with that in, in, in mind, you're not gonna overthink things. Sometimes mentally, you know, we go into a hair we go into a haircut losing already because we're we're not going in confident confidently. All 
all right so i'm going a little bit higher in the middle with this initial guideline because i want this blend to pop i want it to be low um lower than i usually do tapers but i still want it to pop so same steps guys initial guideline then the blade open then the one open and then we'll take out each of those guidelines by closing the lever or using a lower guard and you can follow along with the guards um, by using the color guard chart on the bottom left corner. And guys, if you if you feel like you're learning something, smash that like button, subscribe, you know, share the video, all that good stuff. Anything that'll help the channel, anything that'll help your fellow barbers or friends that are trying to learn how to cut hair. You know, share this with them. Hopefully, this will help a bunch of people. And again, now we're at the, we're at the lever close, the number one close, and any bit of bulk that's left there will take out with either the half guard or the blade open. I think the highest guard I use is probably a number two or the one and a half guard. And here it is. We're taking out that little bit of bulk that was left behind with the half guard. Again, you can go you can do it with the blade open too. Alright, so here we have the one and a half guard. Just like I showed you guys on the on the temple area. And we're staying right below that first wave pattern right below that first wave pattern. So at this point, we're just gonna kind of refine some things. There was still a little bit of bulk below the one and a half guard. So I'm going with my one open, closing it as needed, just to kind of lighten that area up some, kind of spread the blend out a little bit more. And, and yeah, guys, I do have reviews coming out. I just need to catch up on some of these videos that I already have recorded. I have the Babless, the Gold FX, which is the clipper I'm using. I have that review coming out. I also have the Babless Shaver review coming out. So look out for those. Every Monday and Thursday, we dropping videos, guys. Make sure you're tuned in. All right, so now, now the tape is refined. It's to my standards. We'll refine the lineup just one one more time. Get it nice and close on the bottom with my trimmers. I'll probably follow it up with my shaver too, just to get it as the lightest point possible. And it, for me, it's popping. The the taper is popping. So you know we've already shown you the same steps on the other side of his head. So we're just gonna kind of speed through this, and I'll let you guys follow along. And shout out to my cousin on the beats, man. If you're looking, if you're looking for some dope instrumentals, check out his YouTube channel. The link will be in the description.
right, so at this point we're going with the grain around the perimeter of his of his hairline pretty much all the way around we're just smoothing it out we're laying it down we're getting it a little bit shorter so that when we put the the trimmers on there the lineup just pops that much more and I'm doing that all the way around the head because also behind the ears and stuff you don't want it to grow out and get like you know puffy and stuff like that's the first thing people are gonna notice around the hairline when it starts growing out so we we just gonna lower it keep the same darkness right the same color tone but just shorter and now we'll start to, to create his lineup now his lineup we did have to get cosmetic with it you know when it comes to like waivers who have long length hair a lot of this is just it's like bangs a lot of it is just fringe so you do got to get a little cosmetic to give them a hairline okay you don't want to push them back here in the corners where you don't need to you want to keep that as natural as possible right but the actual front hairline on the top of his forehead we are gonna have to get cosmetic and I'll show you guys what I mean by a lot of it is just bang it's over overhanging hair so like right here look see it's a lot of overhanging hair so it's okay to to seem like you're pushing them back but you're really not there's no follicles there it's just again overhanging hair on this side he's got kind of like a lighter spot I wanted to so badly grab that that compressor and, and fill that in but we didn't do it this time this is the first time I cut his hair so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to ease in a little bit I'm saying eventually we'll get that color in there All right, now we use a 245 shave gel, putting it around his hairline. He he stopped me and he asked me to put the black mask on him. I don't know if he just thought about it at this point. But usually I put it in the beginning of the haircut, so by the end of it, it's nice and dry and I can just kind of peel it off before I do the lineup. Because now at this point, it's going to be kind of in the way from with the razor. But it's all good. Get the customer what they want. I just let him know the next time. Just let me know in the beginning of the haircut. Cause I would have peeled it off before I started lining him, lining him up right here. Yeah, like like kiss on his beard right now would have would have really popped. Color enhancement on his beard would have popped. We might have to do another tutorial with him and show you guys the finished result with, without color enhancement and with. We might have to do that. So this is that corner that was a little bit lighter. I just touched it up a little bit more with the trimming and filed it up with the with the razor just to, just to make sure that it pops. We're using a lot of the corner of the blade. And I, I use my razor on everybody. Everybody get the razor. So here I'm using the Babla shavers just to clean, get it really tight in the back and around the hairline. Do not put a lot of pressure. Don't go over the same spot over and over again. That's how you create irritation and inflammation. That's how you get people bumping up. So make sure you're really light-handed with, with the shaver and you don't irritate the skin. I just saw some, some, some things. Once you step away from an area, sometimes you come back and you see some things you didn't see before. So I'm just touching that up at this point. Because I'm OCD. <laughs> Alright, we'll do some refining touches with the scissors. Getting any, any loose hairs. You can put some pomade in there afterwards. You can put some, some oil sheen. I prefer the olive oil one. Um, and But this is it, guys. Like This is the part where people see you going above and beyond. And they appreciate it, man. 
That's how you build loyalty. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.